Hey, good morning, YouTube. This is The Tech Prepper. Uh, first, I want to thank everybody who subscribed to the channel. We are officially in double digits. I have all of 10 subscribers, so thanks for the support. And in this video, we're going to take a look at upgrading our 12-volt power plant system that we built yesterday. I have links in the description to that video. And uh, we're basically just going to attach some solar to it so we can truly have an off-the-grid uh, system. So for consistency, I decided to go with all BioEno parts, the battery, the solar charge controller, and the solar panel. So let's tr start with the solar charge controller. Uh, so by design, you don't want to plug in your solar panel directly to your battery. Instead, you want to have a solar charge controller. Uh, this one is from BioEno. It has a couple of cool features. It has a five volt uh, connect on the top so you can actually USB charge directly here. Um, uh, so that, that's a bonus. Uh, we can actually do it with our inverter as well. Um, if you don't want to run the inverter and just want to charge off USB, you could basically use this bit right here. Uh, but that does require that you have solar power. Um, the whole reason of having the battery is to store that energy um, and then use it. Uh, it has three sets of terminals. The first terminal there is the input from the solar panel. The second one is the output to our battery, and the third is the output to a load, which they do not recommend you use. The recommended usage is to use the, um, the battery connection and then connect your uh, load to your battery, and that's what we're going to do. In terms of the cables, uh, they provided uh, this cable here. This connects uh, directly to the BioEno uh, battery. And they did provide this larger Anderson power pole connection with the solar panel. Uh, I think it's a BP50, it may be wrong, I'll put a correction uh, down below. And what you would have to do is basically just strip off a little bit of the installation, twist it, and mount it down. Instead, what I did is I like to standardize on the smaller Anderson power poles. So I uh, clipped off the edges, added a set of Anderson power poles, so my version looks like this, their version looks like that. And then that allowed me to run basically another one foot segment uh, myself. So uh, this would allow me to put the amp meter in between here if I want to, which I do in fact do in the video. So it's completely up to you on what you want to do. Oh, uh, I don't know if I went over the specs, but this is a 12 volt or 24 volt uh, solar charge controller and it has a max of 20 amps. And in my test, I was actually seeing about 22 volts coming through the system yesterday before I had a load attached. Since I am in an apartment, I don't have the luxury of having spare wood around, so I took my wife's cutting board uh, to mount or as a mounting surface. I hope she doesn't mind. So for the next step of my build, I'm going to mount the hardware, so that'll be the solar charge controller, uh, probably do tie down straps for the battery, and then also put down the 400 watt inverter, just waiting on the screws from Amazon. In a later build, I'm probably gonna move that stuff all into a DIY uh, plastic ammo can, and have it be a single go kit with one grab handle. And let's hope this comes on screen. Uh, we'll look at the 60 watt panel I purchased from BioEno. It does come in this nice case. And there are a few reasons why I bought this. Um, I do like the size and the price was actually not too bad. It has a nice grab handle. There are two latches on the top because these are foldable panels. So to get 60 watts, each panel is 30 watts. And we'll see how clearly this comes on screen. It has two kickstands. And they basically sit at about a 45 degree angle. And you'll see that in the demo I'm going to put together shortly. And as you can see, here is the connector. So I can actually connect this to my system. Get the polarity right, just like that. Obviously there's no sun in here. 
and that's all we need to do. These panels are nice because if I, if I want to increase the, uh, the effectiveness of the solar, I can actually run the same set of panels in series. So I can buy another you know, 60 watt set of panels and they would stack nicely. And the size is perfect. It's one of those things that allows me to throw it in the Jeep or even in the RV. So when we go out RVing, our RV is prepped for solar. And uh, all I have to do is throw these panels outside and just run the cable to the uh, termination point outside of the RV. And since it's, I don't know, five o'clock, 5.30, yeah, about 5.30 in the morning here, uh, I had to record a small demo uh, yesterday around noon. And I have this whole setup running on our patio. Uh, for those of you who saw episode two, which was the uh, potty prepping video for puppies, uh, you'll see I've got a little patch of grass there, the solar panels, and then in the future video I'm doing, there is actually the workings of a garden going. So I am fully utilizing my balconies um, outdoor space for some of these preps. Um, that video is going to be a little bit noisy because I have the inverter running. And the reason why the inverter is running is I wanted to test full amps coming out of the system and it is connected to the laptop. But in general, if you're not pulling more than two amps or you're just charging, you know, small devices that are pulling about 500 milliamps, that's half an amp, uh, it the fan won't turn on at all. So, you know, whatever that case may be, you like the noise, you don't like the noise, point is the system works, it's topping off the battery, I'm able to use the devices at the same time. So, I know that was a lot of material to go over. Um, if there are changes you guys wanna to see to the format, uh, discussion topics you wanna to talk about, please, please, please put them in the comments, I'll respond within the same day. And uh, yeah, not much else other than uh, be strong, be safe, and be prepared to use solar power. Thanks all. Oh, this is the Tech Prepper. Hey there YouTube, it's about uh, noon on Sunday. Uh, we're facing, I think it's 196 degrees south by southwest. Uh, these are two uh, BioEno 30 watt panels, so I have a total of 60 watts. I had to build a custom cable uh, to go to the charge controller, uh, but basically I bought this cable to terminate at the Anderson power poles, and I have the inline uh, amp watt meter. And right now I'm actually charging the battery and running 110 VAC off the laptop. So you can see right now I'm pulling about two amps I have about 13.6 volts. Uh, when there is no load connected, I'm actually seeing about 22 volts coming from the 60 watt panels. Uh, this Anderson power pole connector to the charge controller, solar charge controller, was a cable I made today. Uh, basically, I had a one foot uh, cable. It was a 12 gauge cable with two sides of Anderson power poles. All I did was snip off these ends, strip off about a quarter to a third inch of insulation, twisted the stranded copper wire, and then I tinned the ends with my soldering iron and then mounted it to the terminal block. Uh, so right now you can actually see we're getting about 13.4 volts going through the system. This cable goes out to the load source, which should be the battery. Uh, the documentation says not to connect directly to load, but it is possible. This cable came with the BioEno charge controller, so I did not have to make that. And then it's using uh, these standard connectors. I think it's the 2.1 millimeter uh, connector. And then while we're topping off the battery, I can also continue to use my system. So this was the one we saw yesterday, and it's terminated at the 400 watt power inverter. And then I have my Mac 60 watt uh, power adapter actually running right now and you can see that it's also getting 13.4 volts so we're at 100 percent and it is actually running my Mac at the moment so I'm going to go ahead and disconnect real quickly the power there so that we don't have that fan 
but in general it was a nice little little setup all right all thanks a lot